Scanning for audio. Hello and welcome to a Tin Dog podcast. This time recording an extra bit of audio on the Roland Ederol. You know what I mean. Well, the sound quality is very nice for the video, but you do need something a bit more nicer for the podcast. So, here we go. This is again just another test. But today, I'm going to be talking about the Santaran War. The Great Santaran War. Not episode 2 of Flux, which I think is just called the Santaran War. This is a Torchwood release. Oh yeah, you know how much I like my monthly Torchwood. I really do. It's great. So I'll try and get this one to come out the same week as the other Santaran War. Because we all love a lot of Santarans. And you know what? We really do. The question that I don't know right now is if Mr. Starkey is playing the Santarans for the current Doctor. He's been the go-to Santaran person because, let's face it, they are a race of clones for some time. I'm not completely convinced because the Santarans have been redesigned. But that's beside the point, because this is arguably my all-time favourite Santaran story ever, and that includes all of the Paternoster rule. Yeah, I know, that's kind of sacrilege. The Great Santaran War has the greatest, truly the greatest, big Finnish character of all time in it. Field Marshal Cat. Yes, this is a Santaran trapped on Earth in a very torchwoody kind of a way and kept in a caravan park so that he can experience what it's truly like to be human. Obviously, this whole thing's seen through the lens of the Santarans, which is warlike and almost two dimensional. But because of Starkey's performance, and trust me, he really does give a bit of nuance here to a Santaran. He manages to produce something incredibly thoughtful. And it's really, really clever. At one point, they actually ask him, are you a Marxist? And he's like, I don't know. And that's not the sort of thing you get in Doctor Who. Deep political concepts argued by by Doctor Who monsters? Superb. Truly, this could be my all-time favourite Torchwood. I'm not exaggerating. Yes, it's not dark. Yes, it's comical, which at the moment is something we kind of need. But because of the main characters with Yanto and the Major, it's just brilliant. You've got that rainy quarry feel of the trailer park. The trailers. Do you remember the last Starfighter? The caves that don't go anywhere? Well, that's what these are. This is that world. It's the British version of the trailer park. And it's brilliant. You've got the fruit pickers who... Apparently, we used to have those in this country. European visitors who would come and work and collect the food for us. And then we would all eat the food and that would be part of the economy. However, now we've covered this already elsewhere. But that's not a thing. We now have fruit that it goes into the ground, grows, and then is allowed to rot because of really, really, really nasty people who voted for something else. Sorry, distracted again, as always. Look, back to the thing. It's basically a Centauron on Earth learning what it is to be human. And for that, it works beautifully. Seriously, I'm always banging on about how great the acting is on Big Finish, which, you know, it just is. But Dan Starkey's Centaurons excellent. I would do my impressions of Santarans, but you know, you've had those before and you don't need them again at all. What you need to do is go away after you've heard the trailer, which is coming in a moment, and then just buy this. Because as far as I'm concerned, Major Craig, or Craig, oh, I love that because Americans can't pronounce the word Craig. They call him Craig, which is like Greg, which is different. I need to let that one go. So he's called Craig, a Santaran with a cat. What more do you need from a story than that? At all. And of course, Big Finish have started releasing the spin-off merchandise, the, the aprons, the mugs, to go with this particular campsite. Do you like my Halloween lanyard? Oh yeah. Right, I'll play the trailer, let you decide for yourself, and come back, probably do talk about TV Doctor Who, possibly with more Santarans.
So until next time, be safe. Jack wants you to fulfill your mission, to find out about humanity. And report back to the Sontaran Empire. What could possibly go wrong? From Big Finish Productions. Torchwood. The Great Sontaran War. Let battle commence! <laughs> <laughs> I am the most intelligent creature on the Mumbles Bay Caravan Park, let alone the planet Earth. Ya crackers! Let us advance on the other shower block and stain the drains red with the blood of our enemies. There is a problem with your turn. Someone is coming to help. I do not understand. Stop hitting the checkout. I shall not scream! You will never hear a Sontaran scream! The internet is mostly about them. Therefore, I have acquired one. For a search. Finally! This is the Great Santaran War! Big finish. We love stories. Waiter! Waiter! I demand you release us from this luxury hotel and snack!